Hello everyone, today we're going to be comparing dot versus uh, circle and dot against a snowy backdrop. Okay, here's the 510C. You can see how, well, it's out of focus. You can see how that disappears when you get into the snow. Let me go get a different pistol. Okay, so 43, a G43 here with the, um, was it the 507K? All right, you can see. Get a little bit closer. There you go, focus. So, there's another reason why I keep my optics at a high setting. But if you don't keep it at a high setting, you're not going to see it against the snow, which is what I got around here for, for at least four months, three months, four months out of the year. All right, I'm going to switch over to dot, dot only, so you guys can see how a dot looks. Okay, so here we go, dot only. I mean, good, good luck trying to track that dot in the snow. Let's see if we get a little closer to the target. Not completely lost the dot. There it is. Here, I mean, you get, it's in focus now. Try to track that dot. All right, you can see. All right, let's go back to the circle. All right, so with the circle and dot, I mean, you can see how that's vastly superior. I mean, it still washes out a little bit, but at least you got a chance of seeing it. Oh, look, now I'm out of focus. Can I get focus? Let's get back to the tree here. Yep. Try to get the focus in the snow. There you go, that's is that it. There it goes. So in my opinion, do not bother buying an optic that's dot only. Uh, I'm pretty much in the process of I, I've been selling off all my optics that are dot only. Um I would never buy a dot only optic again. You know, specifically because this is the type of shooting that I do. Uh, stupid phone bombs. Stupid, they won't focus. Okay, get it right in the perfect spot so it'll focus. There you go, focus. Let's get a different optic. Okay, so we got the, uh, um, what is this, the 507 ACSS. Okay, so it's got the 250 MOA chevron uh circle with the 10 moa chevron so the 10 moa chevron it's kind of like uh the, the best of both worlds because it's it's a 10 you know from from end to end it's 10 moa so it's bigger so at least you have a better chance of seeing it right, you can see how it's easier to see as i'm moving it around but at the same point you've got that the tip of the chevron so like if i wanted to take a shot like right there to the top of the head or something Right, or if I wanted to take it to the shoulder, I could put the chevron on it, and I could focus on that point. Okay, and then you got that big. Uh, if you bring it in, you see the whole circle. But as you go further out, you just kind of see the edges of the circle, and it just kind of guides you to the center. So when you're using like the dot only or even the 32 mm circle, sometimes you got to use your iron sights as a reference. But with this, I could just completely take the iron sights off because that big 250 mm circle will kind of guide me. Uh, to the center and you can see how you can track that as I'm moving it around so that's that's a lot more easy to track so dot only completely skip it that's a waste of money always go circle plus dot all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, if you're not a member of the channel subscribe hit the bell button so you get the notifications 
a tortigáson.